Hi everyone, welcome back to Bot Sailor. In this video, we are going to dive into the world of WhatsApp broadcasting and show you how to import WhatsApp subscriber list manually and send broadcast message to imported subscribers. Well, let's get started. First, go to Botseller dashboard. To import a subscriber list manually, we need to go to subscriber manager first. So open subscriber manager and click on options and the drop down menu will appear. You can see a lot of options here like import subscriber, manual subscriber and assign label. We will discuss all of these options later on upcoming videos. Now click on import subscribers and a model will pop up. Over here you can see an upload file called upload files. Notice that your file must be in .csv file. If you can understand how to properly organize your data in .csv file, you can download Botseller sample .csv file and follow its format. So click on sample csv, this will download your sample csv file. So click it and the file is downloaded, open it. Okay, now organize it a little bit. There. As you can see, the numbers are in scientific format. So be careful when you input the phone number because the numbers should be in regular format, not in scientific format. By default, when you input a phone number in Excel sheet, it will automatically change to scientific format. So you need to manually change the cell format to regular format. Yeah, I know it's very challenging, but let me show you how to do it. It's very simple. First, you have to input all the phone numbers with your country code added. In my case, since my subscribers are from Bangladesh, so my country code will be plus 88 because that's the country code of Bangladesh phone number. So I'm gonna input 88 first and then input my phone number. Remember, do not use plus sign because bot seller doesn't support the plus sign before the phone number. So I'm gonna double click on this cell and write my first subscriber's number that will be 8813034889 okay and i have to select the name uh it's his name is let's see okay in this way you can add as many phone number as you want after that i will select the full column of phone numbers and right click on my mouse and scroll down to format cells and set the category to numbers and decrease the decimal places to zero and click OK and you'll see your phone numbers will be shown normally as you expected. Now save the file as .csv format but do not close the file. I repeat do not close the Excel file, just keep it open as it is. And now go back to bot seller and upload the file. Ah, great, all your subscribers will be uploaded. Here, bot seller will show you two subscribers phone number and name. Check it carefully if all is okay or not. Now you just have to assign your subscribers to a label and select a bot. To assign a label, click on select label input field and a list of labels will appear. You can select any label from here. I will select this label. You can create a new label from manage label and select it. If you forgot to select your label, don't worry, Botseller will automatically set the label as your CSV file name for you. Okay, now click on select bot and select a bot which you want to add. Okay, I will select this one. Then click on confirm option to complete the subscriber list upload process. Done. Now go back to bot seller dashboard and select broadcasting from WhatsApp section. And click on create for new broadcast message. The visual flow builder will open a new tab of your browser. Here, give it a campaign name. I will write new 
year sale offer here you can see two toggle buttons first one is 24 hours and the second one anytime when you toggle 24 hours button Portsella will select those subscribers who messaged you in last 24 hours and when you toggle anytime button Portsella will select those subscribers who didn't message you first instead you are going to message them for the first time and I will toggle the anytime option here because the phone number I'm going to add, they didn't message me first. Okay, moving on forward, we will select a message template. I'm going to select sale template. It's a message template that I already used before. If you don't know how to create a message template, click on the video title on the top right corner of your screen. After that, we will have to input the variable data. We already discussed about the variable data in the message template video, so I'm not going to explain it over here again. So as you can see, we have three variables over here. First one is product name, sale name, and the last one, sale percentage. So as product name, I'm going to write chat by on. Chat by on, okay. Chat by on is another AI chat bot for Facebook and Instagram marketing. You can check out about chat pound link will be in the description so uh, now I'm going to give sale name sale name will be new year sale and the sale percentage will be 65 percent okay well after that include the label click on the include label input field and select the label that we just created earlier. Done. If you want to schedule the message to be sent later, you can toggle the send later button like this. And now we just have to schedule a time. I will set the time to this and and the time will be okay, this one is, looks good. And now you have to just select the time zone where you are from. So I'm from Bangladesh, so Dhaka will be perfect. Here. And now just save it. After that, double click on Start Bot Flow component and give it a title. So I'm gonna write Offer. Okay, <laughs> and save the bot flow. And save this button and your broadcast will be sent. So finally, we go back to Bortseller dashboard and select the broadcasting. And here you can check the status of your broadcast. Right now it's a pending. Well, that's a wrap for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you never miss an update. And hey, if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for our future videos, drop them down below in the comment section. I love to hear from you guys. Alright, that's it for today. Until next time, see ya.